في الدنيا. On the day of judgment, the people of pardon, meaning the people that didn't go through as much difficulties. The people of pardon, once they see the people of difficulties receiving the rewards for their difficulties, they're going to wish that in this world, their skins were sliced with scissors out of jealousy. They wish they would have gone through more. So accept Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's gifts properly. Doesn't mean it's not going to hurt. But see the bright side of things. And accept the sour medicine. And know that your health, rather your afterlife is bent upon that. Until we arrive in a home, bi'ithnillah, where there is no disease and there is no difficulty and there is no sleep. But it is bliss upon bliss upon bliss, what no eye has ever seen, what no ear has ever heard, what never dawned upon the imagination of a human being. And the greatest of that is what Allah tomorrow brings. Only Allah Azza wa Jal knows what tomorrow brings. So put your trust in Allah and cheer up. Whatever tomorrow brings, cheer up. If you've put your trust in Allah, cheer up. Shuraih al Qadi, rahimahullah, the head judge in the time of Umar al Khattab, he used to say, I never go through any difficulty except that I thank Allah four times for it. One time that it wasn't bigger than it was, it was a finger, not an arm. It was a leg and not my life, right? It wasn't bigger than what it was. Could have been bigger, could have been worse. Number two, that Allah granted me patience to withstand it. I didn't disbelieve, I didn't become kafir, right? I didn't say, oh Allah, you've wronged me. Number three, that He inspired me to say, inna lillahu wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. I belong to Allah and to Him I return. He said, and I anticipate the reward for that. Number four, that the catastrophe was in my dunya and not my deen. Cheer up, see the bright side of things. Wallahi, yani guys, really, I know that at times people want to put us in an image and everything is dark and there's no silver lining around this dark cloud. Cheer up for real. Allah loves you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you because He gave you deen, He gave you iman. Allah gives dunya to those He loves and those He hates. He only gives iman to those that He loves, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I'll leave you with one about our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You never saw your father's face or knew the warmth of your mother's embrace. Your grandfather's heart burned with concern, yet death would come to him in turn. None to look up to, so you cast your vision to the sky. When you speak the truth, it hurts when they say you lie. Doesn't it? Yet you move on, you take it all in stride. The honest prophet who by his own people is belied, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, with only two pillars of support, an uncle, Abu Talib, and a perfect wife, Khadija, radiallahu anha. And in the same year, each one would lose their life. Jibreel gave Khadija his salam, told her of a house in paradise, but an angel other than him, came to your house to collect its price, the angel of death. You went to a ta'if seeking support for the message you need to spread. They laughed at you and sent their kids to stone you until you bled. At Uhud you were deserted, so they struck you with vicious blows. And rumors were spread about Aisha that caused pain that Allah only knows. And Ruqayya, his daughter, would pass away and Umm Kalthum, his daughter, as well. You held Ibrahim, his son, in your hands with a heart that breaks and eyes that swell. Death would ask permission to take your soul, but not the souls of those you love. And you never expressed distress to the tests that came from up above. The trials made you strong, and for Allah's perfect company you would yearn, for it is to Allah that we belong, and to him is our return. Inna lillah wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. Get what suffices you. So if life... He says, But whomever relies on Allah for his deen, for his guidance, for the victory of the ummah, for the benefit of others, of humanity, for his akhirah, Allah will take care of his akhirah and his dunya. Understood? Make your concern your akhirah, and Allah will suffice you for your dunya and your akhirah. You have all for in one day. <laughs>
نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم 